Good morning, SMF MMTs. Gap open up on the NASDAQ comp is that you got a few stocks gapping up. UHAL. I don't know if that's U Haul. TITN beat its earnings. The gap up, yes, you got 1.00 qualifier ratio. The gap open down, on the other hand, you've only got one that meets it, and that's Veritox Pharmaceuticals. The rest of them are diminishing gap. Now, let's talk a little bit about the trading today. Is that short term, we are oversold as far as market cycles. Market cycles. Short term market cycles are pointing to an over short term oversold condition. However, MMTs, that when we go up to the higher level, that stocks will continue to sell at those upper uh, price action lines above the market. So if it's a half a delta movement in a counter trend rally, they're not going to go much further than that. They're going to roll right on over again. And when we have a short term oversold cycle, within indexes that means that the individual names whether it's a listed stock or a NASDAQ stock or whichever name it is in its own independence is going to trade the same way meaning that the today's range will be coming up off of that bottom and the and the ranges are going to be that way what we will be doing on Saturday is taking a weekly SMF platform chart and it calculates the total raw movement in the VL1 column on a weekly. And what that is going to do is that we're going to look at where these things were so overbought and where they've come down because the market's trying to price in a lower earnings environment that's coming in July that people will not be prepared for. Now, price action volatility remains the same. The left elbow gap down three minute buy action bar above the previous bar holding that support some of the stocks that we'll be looking at today will have bounces the economic data that came out jobless claims well it's not a good story and it's up around 427,000 you need to be below 400,000 and that that weekly jobless claims has been flat for six months which doesn't show any job growth at all so you know the bull has been on what we call high ether octane and that ether is starting to come down we are going to find out how this market will price itself in in short-term oversold equities using short-term daily uh, percent DS's which are public indicators and weekly percent DX's uh, DS within cycles a cycle is five days to 20 trading days 20 trading days is a calendar month there are 60 trading days in a quarter so one of the things that we're going to do is measure that quick bounce that these stocks are trying to put in what we call short-term oversold support levels at the current prices when they hit in the platform okay particularly on high beta Google is really oversold and we're going to be looking at Google today in the options trade the China, which got a great haircut and it got down there to our price, we're going to be looking at where Ken Flagg said. I think he said 93.75. The top end failure, that thing is always all over the map. I mean, it provides four dollars up, four dollars, ten dollars down, five dollars up, six dollars down. I mean, in some days that thing may move thirty dollars round trip. What a lot of money to learn how to trade volatility, which everyone will learn. Okay. As far as commodity related stocks, we'll talk about that on the NYSE. So that's the gap open up. The trade management is short term oversold. Now, one thing about learning about short term oversold is just like when you're overbought and we've done such a great job of teaching people about overbought exuberant bull trends is, is that you can stay overbought for a period of time. But let me caution you on the lower end of the trade, you get in 
You get your entry, you get out, and you get your profits. Uh, the broader public is going to have a problem um, as the fact that you can stay oversold within ranges for a period of time, just as you can in, in overbought territories. And we're really going to dial in on that training part of it, my MMTs. And we're going to get ready to rumble. This is the gap up. Your economic data is out right now. And we have a market that we have said would come down tremendously. Uh, bull sentiment versus bear sentiment have, have movements in them. And once again, trade management. Write down the things that you're struggling with as challenges so that we can overcome them during the day using the SMF platform. So once again, the gap up list is not a very long expanding list, but then again on the NASDAQ, it's not a huge gap down list. It's very, very small, shows a lot of indecisiveness. And when you start seeing these kind of numbers in pre-market, it just really goes to show you that even the short term of a sold is not having a higher volatility price gap. 